Hello, my name is Robin Leach and thank you for joining us here at the interview of Who is Mr. Thomas? Mr. Thomas, he goes by many names. We've got Mr. T, Pitmaster T, Teachmaster T and of course Mr. Thomas. Hello Mr. Thomas, thank you for joining us. You're most welcome. Uh, you can call me Mr. T. Tell me about yourself. Uh, is it true you were born in Dickinson, Texas? Yes. And so, in fact, you grew up the son of two parents who were teachers. Uh, tell us, what was that like, Mr. T? Oh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Thomas, please. Yes, uh, my grandfather was a board president of Dickinson Independent School District in the late 1940s, and my father started his career here in the late 50s, and my mother taught here for 40 years, taught in the Dickinson area for 40 years. I see, so that means she could have possibly taught some of the children who are in your room today, she could have taught their parents and grandparents. She, she taught elementary. And, and in fact, you are a product of Dickinson Independent School District's schools yourself, right? Yes. Here's a picture of you for our viewers to take a look at. Uh, that, that's cold. That's just cold. Did you have to do that? Oh, come on, Mr. T. You must have been so popular. You were a very popular bloke, eh? I mean, just look at you. You better put some trouble on that tone. You hear me? Because I am a busy, busy man. You just don't, nobody seems to understand how valuable my time is. I'm a busy, busy man. Busy, busy. Uh, sorry, Mr. T. Mr. Thomas, to you. Okay, um, so you actually went to school here at McAdams, right? Yes. A native of Dickinson, Texas. You like to state the obvious, don't you? Okay, Mr. T, I would like to uh, go on about Teach Master T. No, I'll have to tell you again. Yes. Teach Master T. Um, you are involved in your community, correct? And according to your bio, uh, you encourage your students uh, to be involved in the community as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. You, you, uh, you like barbecue? Oh, like is such an inept word. Okay, you love barbecue. No, no, it, uh, it goes beyond that. Obsessed? You're fanatical about barbecue? Fanatical, yes. Somewhere north of that. Uh, I like to say that if they cut me open, I bleed barbecue sauce. And this helps your community how? I serve my barbecue up in charities to, to benefit at-risk families here in Dickinson and all over the world. And um, I started a, uh, a barbecue charity called Mini Howl Good Biddles and Wood Cookery Society. Excellent. Uh, now, Mr. Teachmaster T. That's Mr. T to you. Mr. T. No, I don't like the way you say that. That's Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas? Yes, Mr. Thomas, you have historical interests as well, I have learned, and I always found history a little, a little boring. <laughs> I mean, you know, all the players are dead. They live in a world that is no more. <laughs> I mean, absolutely boring, if you ask me. They dress funny. They probably smell a lot. They talk funny. If, uh, if I were to reach across this table right now and smack you in the face, how would you feel? Well, I, I suppose I would, I would feel hurt. Okay. So if I were to, uh, let's say, do it again, would you flinch? Would you try to get out of the way? Well, yes. I rest my case then. You adapt to your immediate history. Now multiply that times every mistake and every
every success by every ancestor that ever walked the earth, and you will have some idea about the mistakes and successes of our ancestors. Now, you've got to learn from that. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, they say you love you some history. <laughs> what does that mean? I published a local historical newsletter called History Under the Pines. Um, I'm the editor for that. I also uh, publish a column in the Galveston Daily News. It's, kind of, it's called the Maceo Dickinson Line. Uh, that's about Dickinson folklore. I do that twice a month. And I also sit on the board of the Historical Society. Oh, like the uh, cool little train station that's over by Wendy's, right? Yeah, the cool train station by Wendy's. Uh, so you're interested in your community uh, with your charity barbecues and your writings on local and Texas regional histories. Uh, what is actually left for your students? Luckily, since I have such a good staff, you know, with Teach Master T helping me and Mr. Thomas helping me and Mr. T all, you know, kind of helping me, well, all those people are inside my head. And, well, uh, the student's going to get all that in his class or her class. Well, they will be challenged. They should expect to be ta challenged. And I have high expectations for them, and they're going to come to know those high expectations. And, and well, hopefully they're going to let their ideas and their knowledge flow freely in my class. So how, is it, so how is it you show your students that they are doing well in your class? Well, you, you just can't tell that to a student these days. You know, they, they don't want any attention from the teacher. You know, they get embarrassed. So, you know, I, usually I like to use the password. All right. Okay, a password. Uh, okay, so what's the password? You got it. Got what? The password. The password is what? Exactly. The password is exactly. No, it's okay. The password's okay? As far as I'm concerned. Look, just... <laughs> just say the password. What? Say the password, onion head! Onion head? You hurt my feelings. Sorry. Let's let's slow this thing down. The, the kids are coming into your classrooms. Kids come in the classroom. You're probably busy teaching something on one area of the classroom. Yes. And so one of them glides by you and you say what? Password is what? That's what I'm asking you. The password is what? That's what I'm asking you. It's the password. The password's it? Ah. Uh, the password is what? It. You just said so. The password isn't it. It's what? What? Got it. I got it. Right. It all right. What? Uh, uh, okay. Onward to your family. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have a family. I have a wife, a lovely wife. Her name is Melissa. I have two boys, Jake and Joey. They're four and seven. I have a daughter named Tina. She's 20. And she has a little girl named Audrey. So, really, I'm a grandparent. Lovely, lovely family. And hey, also, take Master T. Yes, Mr. Fry. Showtime. Yes, well, Mr. Leach has been nice talking to you. But uh, I got six shows a day. Five days a week I got to do for the kids, okay? I'm a busy, busy man. Nobody seems to understand just how busy I am. Busy! Busy man! I got to go. Hey, isn't that Andre Ware? Andre Ware? Dickinson football great? Where? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. T has left the building.